Hello, it's Jennifer McGuire, and today is the first video and blog post for My Favorite Crafty Things 2014. This is a series of videos and blog posts where I share my favorite products, and today I am starting with stamps and stamp care. So in this video, I'm going to talk about my favorite stamps, and then in the next video for today, I'll talk about taking care of your stamps. I did want to mention a few things. First of all, if I mention a video or a card, the link will be in my YouTube description below, or you can click on the annotation here, which will take you directly to whatever I'm talking about. And the products I talk about are also listed in the description below and on my blog. Also, over on my blog, I will have discount codes for the products that I talk about and also some big giveaways. This will be a series that lasts several days where I talk about all different kinds of products and each day will have the discount codes and giveaways. So be sure to click on over to my blog. Now let's go ahead and get today started with today's topic, which is stamps. Now I am going to just walk you through all of my favorite stamps for the year, but if you want to save some time, you could just head over to my blog to see them all listed there. Let's start with sentiment stamps first. First up is Crafty Friends from Hero Arts. This is a great sentiment to include on cards for a fellow card makers. I have done some cards with this, so you can click here to see those videos. It's great with fun embossing powders. LA Edwards has recently teamed up with Studio Calico and her first release of stamp sets is great. I love this thanks set because it has lots of different types of thank you greetings, which is a card type I make often. I always love a stamp set that has a variety of sentiments in it, and this one is a great one from Simons' stamp called Stripe Greetings. There's the basic hello and hi there. I love this hang in there message because that can be used on many types of occasions. You're on my mind. I love you. You're pretty amazing. Just a lot of great sentiments and great fonts and handwriting. I also really like stamp sets that build together to create unique sentiments. Like this one you can do, You Make My Heart Smile, The Best Thing About Me Is You. This is a new set from Mama Elephant called Cross My Heart, and I love that elegant script with the basic font that you can match up with it. And some of these sentiments you could stamp inside of a card also. For a more playful or bold look, I like the Paper Smooch's Bold Buzzwords. This is fun to stamp in a light ink and maybe trace over it with some bold colors or do some fun embossing techniques with them. This is good for friends or for kids. Another set that's also fun and playful is the Uplifters from Paper Smooch's. There are just some fun greetings in here that are sure to cheer people up, like thanks for being so awesome, you are my favorite, I love you the mostest, you totally rock, and you are brag worthy. I have been using this stamp set a lot for cards for my kids. Next we have a bold sentiment stamp set from Mama Elephant. This one's very popular this year. It's called Make a Wish. I love that you can just stamp these or heat emboss these in the center of a card and keep the rest of it simple. Maybe just add some little stars or sequins around it. Just bold and fun and so beautiful. Next is My Favorite Things. Now this stamp set has some gorgeous handwritten thank you messages. I make thank you cards often. Also has some fun images in the center that go with it. And then some simple little lines that can go along with the stamped greetings. So you can stamp thank you for everything you do or so very thankful. This is also nice because you have some sentiments you can put inside your card too. Hero Arts Enjoy Today stamp set is a classic stamp set because it pretty much covers all the occasions you'll need and this font style works well with a variety of styles. So this is a good one to have on hand. Now if you're like me and you like to stamp little critters and color them on your cards, Lawn Fawn's Chit Chat stamp set is perfect for that because you can team these up with any little critter images you may have. It's fun and playful and a lot of different occasions are covered here. I also enjoy fun inked background techniques like creating starry skies. That's a popular trend right now. I'll link to a video where I did this technique here. And this Shoot for the Moon stamp set from Hero Arts is perfect for that trend. All you need to do is stamp some of these sentiments and add some stars and you're good to go. Winnie and Walter came out with this series of stamp sets similar to this one. This was the original one and my favorite that has large script sentiments, um, also with some simple tiny sentiments that you can team up together and kind of build up a greeting. So with this one stamp set, you can cover many different occasions. Another great stamp set that you can kind of build different greetings with is the Sending You from Little Inkers. I really like the font on these and the kind of playful greetings that you can get with them. Perfect for handmade cards. 
Now this stamp set from Simon Says Stamp called From Us was on my favorite things list last year, but I thought it was worth putting on this year's list too because it's very unique and that all the sentiments are from we instead of from I. So if you send cards from your family to people, this is a great stamp set to have. And I also like the tiny little messages that you see on this set. And last but not least is this new stamp set from Tailored Expression that I just ordered and I can't wait to get and I wanted to be able to share it with you today. I love the happy birthday greeting at the top and the get well soon on the bottom. This font is just beautiful. Now that we've had a quick look at sentiment stamps, let's look at backgrounds and borders. I don't have as many here, but I think backgrounds and borders are so good for techniques with stamping, so I wanted to be sure to include them. I really like these 6x6 six six background stamps because you can stamp them either horizontal or vertical on a card, so that makes them very versatile. I enjoy a lot of the My Favorite Things background stamps here too. We have the pinstripes and the diagonal stripes. They're good simple backgrounds that aren't too distracting and they work great for tone on tone and work with any style of card. Another My Favorite Things background that I like is the typewriter text. I used it on the background here for a black tone on tone look. It doesn't spell out any words, so it's not distracting. Here I'm just going to stamp the corner so you can see what it's like. I just think it's a fun way to add a little bit of texture and interest to the back of a card. I also like this diagonal weave from Impression Obsession. I just think it's beautiful and would work with a variety of card styles. Hero Arts has some great backgrounds also. This tile stamp, I used this in a video, which I'll link to here. I just think it's wonderful to maybe white heat emboss this and put some watercolor over it, or just, again, for a tone-on-tone -tone look. Another beautiful background that I've created cards with, which again we'll link to, is called the Large Petal Background from Hero Arts. It's just so elegant. You could just stamp this for a simple background, or you can color in all these areas for a very colorful background. I love stamps like this that are versatile, and you can take in many different directions. And the last background stamp on my list is the Dotted Grid from Hero Arts. This is such a unique pattern that I just had to include it. I think it's beautiful for backgrounds. Next, I wanted to talk about a few border stamps that I love. We have the Clearly Besotted Diagonal Stripes. I love diagonals on my cards. I think it's a great way to add a little bit of interest, and this is perfect just to stamp along the edge of a card, kind of peeking out from a stamped panel. And I like that there's a variety of, of uh, diagonal patterns on this set. Next we have from W plus 9, the Borders and Backgrounds number 4. I like that you could stamp this individually to make a colorful background, so maybe a rainbow of this zigzag, or you could just go tone on tone if you want to. You can build all these elements up to create a fun background or a main element on a card. Next, you gotta check out this borders and background number three from W plus nine. It's like confetti. There's hearts, dots, and stars. So this would be fun to have use as a border or cover an entire background just to create something subtle and fun. So that covers backgrounds and borders, and next is my favorite type of stamp, the building stamp set. Now this is the type of stamp set where you can stamp images on top of each other to create a beautiful scene or flower or something like that, and there are many of these stamp sets on the market these days. I shared some of my favorites last year, and I have a few more this year. This is the Pretty Peonies from W Plus 9. W Plus 9 is great at creating these building type stamp sets. What I really like about this stamp set is that you layer up a flower and then you stamp like a sketch image around it so it makes it look very artsy. Let me show you how it works. I think you really have to see this in action. I start with my lightest ink and my most solid image and I stamp that first. And then I stamp with a slightly darker ink right on top of that with the second image. And you can see which images go together on the stamp set very easily. And then finally, like this outline kind of sketchy look around it right on top. It's just a beautiful, beautiful kind of artsy image that I would love to be able to create on my own, but I really just don't have the talent to do it. So I love these stamp sets because they make it look like I did these on my own. So there's the little center for the flowers, and there's lots of stems and leaves in this set also. I like the larger uh, Pretty Peony set, but there is also a smaller set too, and look at how gorgeous that is. These building stamp sets I cannot say enough about because all you have to do is layer them up. Here I used a light gray for the outline of a pink flower just for something different. This is just some plain that I was doing. And I think you could make some simple cards using these flowers. Another fun building floral stamp set is from Altenew. This is called Vintage Roses. This is fun because they circle on it which images go together, which makes it very simple to do. 
I wanted to go ahead and show you how to create one of these flowers also. I always start with my lightest ink and my most solid image and I work my way up to darker colors. So you can see each of these I just layer them on top of each other. You don't have to perfectly layer them, it really doesn't matter. You'll see I'm just doing this very quickly and it works every time. I don't know what it is about these kind of stamps but they're designed by card makers which I think really helps getting that great result. And check out this beautiful vintage rose that I got by layering up inks. Now I used a bunch of different ink colors here but you could double stamp layers to get a darker color if you wanted to. And here I'm going to go ahead and create a little leaf with this. So there you have two different flower building stamp sets. Very different looks. One is artsy, one's more realistic and I think they're both fantastic. Another non-floral beautiful building stamp set is the Painted Butterflies from Altenew. I wanted to show you how this one works. This is another kind of artsy look when you're done. Now I'm just going to go ahead and stamp these very quickly for you. I start with the solid once again. This is a light ink and then I'm going to stamp kind of the dimension to it with a slightly darker ink. And then the final step that I like to do is the sketchy outline. Now you notice these aren't intended to perfectly line up but instead kind of give you a hand-drawn look which I just love. I've always wanted to be able to do some hand drawing on my own. I just don't have the talent so this way I can completely fake it. <laughs> Another thing I like about the stamp set is the sentiments on it. I just think they're nice, simple, and classic. You can't go wrong with these. Another building stamp set that I'm loving is this Clearly Besotted stamp set. Now this one I've used on a video recently and I'll link to that. What you can do here is stamp the outline and color it in if you want to or they have in the stamp set the solid flowers that you stamp directly inside the outlines so you don't have to take the time to color. You can just stamp the color in instead or you can stamp those solid flowers separately too so you can use the stamp set in many ways. There are also little centers that you can stamp in the center of the flowers too. There's a lot of things you can do with a stamp set like this. I also wanted to show you there is this adorable like bow that goes on the flowers. Check this out. I think you could use this bow on a lot of different cards just as a little fun accent. And last but not least is this fantastic Boca Dot stamp set from Julie Ebersol and Ellen Hudson. I put this in the building stamp set because you could build fun backgrounds with this like the circle you saw on the side or just use it as accents on a card. This is one of those stamp sets that I'm finding myself reaching to a lot. Okay, so now that we have covered building stamp sets, let's go on to other stamp sets. This is my last category for today. This is just other stamp sets that I think are fun. First up is a stamp set that I think is fantastic for coloring. Whether you do watercolor, Copics, colored pencils, anything, this stamp set is perfect for it. Or you can just do a simple gold heat embossed image. I've used this stamp set before and I'll link to this video here. It's just a beautiful, beautiful collection of images. Next we have the Paper Smooches Botanicals 2. I love Botanicals 1 and this one's just as fantastic. You can use some of the leaf images for a masculine card or add little flowers if you want a feminine card. I enjoy stamping these with a solid ink and then adding some highlighting or shading with colored pencils. Now this stamp set from St Simon Says Stamp and Clearly Besotted, I guess it would be a fall or holiday stamp set, but this can be used all year round. You stamp the wreath and then you add little doodads to it. You can add the berries for the holidays or the pine cones for the holidays. Now for the spring and summer, you could add roses or flowers, and then for the fall, you can add the leaves. So this is one of those stamp sets that can get you through the whole year, and you can use any sentiment you want with it. I decided to include a few holiday stamp sets this year. This is the Avriel Noel stamp set. I like that it's bold and has this handmade feel to it that I think is perfect for handmade cards. You could use resist techniques with this, some of your favorite embossing powders, or even stamp it with like a distress ink and add some water for a watercolor look. Now for a more graphic look, and I think I'm going to use this stamp set for all of my holiday tags this year on my presents, this is from Kathy Zilski and Studio Calico. Check out these adorable small images. I'd want to stamp this little reindeer and gold embossing powder with the Merry Christmas under it and put that on all my holiday presents. I don't know what it is about this stamp set, but it has just such a great clean look to it. I can't wait to use it. From Ellen Hudson and Julie Ebersol, we have the Cozy Christmas. My friend borrowed the stamp set, so I don't have it to show you. But you can use these houses all, years, all year round. And also, those little heart and star images are great to kind of scatter on any card just for some fun. From Tim Holtz, we have the Styled Woodlands. I think this is one of the most beautiful stamp sets he's ever come out with. I just love the kind of the funky yet vintage look of it. I used this stamp set in an online card class recently, and I'll link to that here. It's great for resist techniques. 
Another one that I'm loving right now is from Winnie and Walter. It's called A Tree for All Seasons. Now there are two things that I'm loving about this stamp set. One is that you can create masculine cards using these trees and leaves. You can build up some fun scenes. The other thing I really like about this stamp set are all the sentiments on the bottom. You have all the different occasions covered and they're just beautiful, simple, small sentiments that will work on a variety of cards. This origami map stamp set from Neat and Tangle caught my eye because it's so unique. I plan to white heat emboss that map and add different watercolor um, bits into all the different areas. Now I have noticed if you Google on this stamp set name, there are some fantastic samples on the internet using the stamp set. And I really like, again, the sentiments on this one because they're very unique. The sentiment that says my world is brighter because of you could be used on a lot of my cards since they, they all are pretty bright cards. From Lawn Fawn, I love all of Lawn Fawn's stamp sets, and this one really stood out to me, the Hello Sunshine. The two sentiments are fantastic on here. And then also you have the heart and the round balloon that you can kind of have it coming out of the hands of any of your little Lawn Fawn critters that you may have. Just something fun to add to other cards. I make cards for teachers a lot, and the My Favorite Things Class Act stamp set is one of my favorites for that. I like the bus and the pile of books. The sentiments are fun. The little apple and pencil are great for little tags for teacher gifts, too. I use this stamp set in a video, and I'll link to that here. In My Heart is from Mama Elephant. These little kids are so cute and so much fun to color. Now, the sentiments in here really won me over. The I'll be here if you need me, miss you more than just a little, thinking of you, you are my hero. These are great for a lot of different images, not just the ones included on the stamp set. I will also link to a video using this set. Next, we have a new one from Mama Elephant called Perfect Pairs. Now, I'm not a cat person. I'm a dog person. However, this set is so cute, it won my heart. And I have a lot of friends who like cats, so I'll be using this set a lot. The sentiments are fantastic. The fonts are just perfect. And you can stamp these little kitties together with the jar of milk between them and the straws coming up very fast to do. And I plan to try turning these into dogs, so stay tuned for a video for that. These new sets from Mama Elephant are fun because you can personalize a card. You stamp these images and then the little knot below it and you have a balloon. You just do the scribbly line for the string and you can do the age of whoever's getting the card or the name of the person and have them held by some of these cute little critter or people stamps that we have. From Studio Calico is this gorgeous, fancy alphabet stamp set. Alphabet stamps can be tricky sometimes, but this one is beautiful. Look at the beautiful sentiment that I created very quickly. And I think this is one that I'll be reaching for often. From Neat and Tangled is the Falling Flakes. This is a small set, so it's, it's very inexpensive. You can stamp these kind of falling down from the top of the card or maybe coming out from a word die cut in the center of a card. I'm a fan of scattering little images over a card just for some added interest like little gems or sequins, but sometimes you want a one layer card. That's when the Lots of Hearts and Lots of Stars stamp sets from Simon Says Stamp come in handy. Look how tiny some of those stars and hearts are. So these are perfect to kind of scatter on a card or create a fun background. And last but not least, I wanted to show you this woodblock stamp from Tim Holtz that I have been having sitting out on my shelf because I think it's just beautiful. Now you can get this stamp individually or as part of the Daydream Cling stamp set with another fun leaf. This is great for techniques. You could stamp it with Distress Ink, give it a little mist of water, and get a fun watercolor look. Okay, so that wraps up all my favorite stamp sets. And be sure to check out my second video for today, which covers stamp care, so taking care of your stamps and other essentials that you need for stamping. Be sure to head over to my blog where I'll have giveaways of tons of stamp sets and gift certificates, along with discount codes so that you can get some of these stamps yourself if you like them also. I apologize that this video was kind of long, but I wanted to be able to show you my favorites. And if you want to see more favorites, you can check out last year's video also, because I still use a lot of those stamps too. Now all the products that I talk about and the videos are linked below in my YouTube description so you can check that out or again head over to my blog where I'll have all the links and products and the giveaways and discount codes. Be sure to stop back by soon where I'll be talking about my favorite dyes. Thanks so much for watching.